Pop, it's got a bit of pump. Willkommen, bienvenue. Welcome to the White Lines at Real Time Reviews. We're in Cadrona and today we're testing the number 43 out of the LibTech range. Four letters in love, three in you. Apparently this board loves you. We'll see how Dubray gets on with it in Cadrona very shortly. People always ask what makes a board different. In this case, it's what's normal about this board, and it is almost nothing. LibTech have exaggerated all of their technology. Twin tip shape, but it's a directional profile. So rocker, really sharp rocker between the feet, mild camber under the front foot, really aggressive camber under the back foot. What that's gonna do, I don't know. It's called their C2 hybrid profile. Then you've got the Magna Traction, five big bumps down the side, and then very light lift, which isn't very fashionable at the moment. Usually you have big rockered noses and tails. So a very different offering from LibTech here. Let's see how Ju gets on. which is actually a 151 all mountain freestyle board for a run and I took it down the steep and I didn't feel very comfortable on edge the rocker was a bit extreme for me and I felt like I wasn't connected to the snow but in saying that I could get down some tricky tight shoots doing making fast agile turns with a lot of ease so it's an agile maneuverable snowboard but not very stable. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> That's quite poppy. Pop, it's got a bit of pop. Oh. Oh uh, yeah, it board slides. Dun, dun, dun! The clipboard of power will now decide how good the LibTech number 43 is. Ju, it's got all the technology, including the kitchen sink, packed into it. What did you make of it? This board was quite new to me, with the extreme rocker between the two feet, camber under each foot. I could really feel the rocker on the piece and I had to dig it in to make it perform. But once I did, it performed really well. So I need a few more runs to really figure this board out. Yeah, that's what it feels like. There's so much going on in this yeah. that you actually need, you need more than two runs. Yeah. So I did decide to take it through the park and hit some jumps. 
And as long as I was centered, it put me back on my feet. But I was a little bit anxious at takeoff. And then on the boxes and the rails, it was really easy and friendly. So I feel like it's got a design that will allow people to progress, especially in the park. You described it as a totally different kind of snowboarding though, that, that yeah. rocker camber, because you've got mild camber on the front and then really aggressive camber under the back. So it's kind of a directional wolf in twin tip clothing. Yeah, yeah nice. Um, yeah, definitely something different for me. I would, I would recommend this board. I'd like it. I just need more time on it. Yeah, you said weaknesses that you couldn't trust it at speed and it would take, you said that there's a dead spot if you don't know exactly where that rocker is. Yeah, that's what I was trying to figure out. Like where to push in with my edge because if I didn't push in, I felt like the board was almost like tilted tottering yeah 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 like you're kind of balancing in the, a seesaw when it gets yeah, stuck yeah, in the middle yeah. so you have to be quite aggressive if you want to get those calves happening okay so a great board if you invest the time in it yeah and you said the magna traction was that's new for you you really enjoyed yeah, that yeah and it, so i could push the snow on the groomers like it was just about powder like really dig in. Well, that was interestingly Mike Olson's philosophy with the Magna Traction. He wanted to create snowboards that rode like skateboards with really loose trucks, turning ice into powder essentially. And you described yeah, that yeah, yeah. almost word for yeah. word. Yeah, it's new for me. So quite interesting, but it does work. Okay, 550 euros, upper end of the price bracket, but plenty to get your teeth into with the LibTech number 43.